In this video, we show how to splice a broken winch rope using the toast method. So, the winch rope has snapped. How do we splice it back together? You'll need a splicing needle, a sharp knife, and a marker. In our case, we cut the rope cleanly for demonstration purposes, but normally the ends will be frayed. We will use roughly one meter of rope for the splice. We take both ends and make our markings. One mark in the middle and two marks at the ends, so we know where the splice should begin and end. We leave a few centimeters of extra length at the ends. Now we take our mysterious splicing needle, press it against the ground to fully open the spring, then feed the rope end into the needle. Once there's tension on it, it will hold by itself. Open up the rope a bit and pass the needle through the rope at the middle marking. Pull the rope through until you reach the end marking. Then we pass it through again from the other side and finally a third time. Now, we prepare the rope a little, release the tension, because the inner fibers may have bunched up, because or many winch launch operations, which can make it difficult to insert the needle. Now, the needle is pulled through the rope and brought out again at the marking. This part can be a bit fiddly. Next, pull out the needle and make sure the rope lies nice and straight at the midpoint stroke along the rope so the outer braid settles smoothly around the inserted strand.
if we exit too early with the needle, we simply pull out a bit more of the core, cut it, and re-tuck it, and we repeat the exact same steps for the other end. Voila! The repaired connection should have the same breaking strength as the original rope. 